Now we're learning more about what went to a social media threat that put an area school on lockdown. Greenville police have charged a student in connection to today's incident at JH Rose High School. Nine on your side's Brendan Truitt has the first to break the news today as it happened. He joins us in the newsroom. And Brandon, police are telling you the student went to JH Rose. Angie, at first it was not clear from where exactly this post was coming from. The Greenville Police Department says they got a tip from another student after seeing the threat on an Instagram story. That's when administrators put the school on a modified lockdown. Don't worry, we're on lockdown. Um, somebody posted a threat. It's a text any parent would fear. I got here picking up my son every like I do every day and he's texting me and he's saying, you know, we're on lockdown. Greenville police say they were informed of the threat around 1:30 Tuesday afternoon. A student reported an Instagram story suggesting someone was going to shoot up the school. J. H. Rose was placed on a modified lockdown, allowing students to move inside the school, but no one could come in or out. Greenville police surrounded the school's campus and delayed their release until four this afternoon. Rita Mallet says her son told her several students thought the post was a joke. What's happening to our society? Um, what are what are the, these kids thinking? It's a joke. This is not a joke. This is life. After tracking the post and further investigation, Greenville police arrested 16-year-old Treshawn Palmer. Palmer is charged with making a false report of mass violence on educational property. It's a felony offense. Mallet says it's time for parents and children to talk about the consequences of something like this. But yeah, we should have more conversations, and maybe even the school should have a sit down and conversations in the classrooms to talk about it. Palmer's being held at the Pitt County Detention Center. His bond is set at $10,000. He will have his first court appearance tomorrow morning. Brandon Truitt, not on your side.